night time is when this neighborhood has in slumber silence. But not this night. In the main quarter of this wooden house, some men and women are performing an ancient ritual called Belian. Belian or Beliatan is a traditional ritual of some Dayak tribes. It is conducted to heal the ill person through spiritual power. To perform this complex ritual, it requires dancing, chanting ancient verses, and drum beating. It also takes various items as ritual paraphernalia. The person who conducts this ritual is also called Plian. Both men and women can do this role as long as he or she has the capability. Tonight, the Plian is a man named Peleng, but more often called by his nickname, which is Maklomek. And the patient he is trying to heal is an old man called Nce. Maklume is not the only healer in Kampung in Tulingau. Even in this remote village, borders to Central Borneo Province, medical service is available. A midwife and a medical officer are stationed here to help those who in need. Whenever further help is necessary, the nearest doctor can be reached within 90 minutes right. That's when it's not raining. The Tonyoi Benuak believe that illness can be caused by physical or spiritual disturbances, or both. Hence, these people use modern as well as traditional medication to deal with health problems. They do not put the old and the new methods on the opposite ends. Instead, for them, these methods can work in parallel, even are complementary to each other. In many occasions, those who have been cured by modern medical treatment still feel necessary to be treated with traditional ritual in order to be healed both physically and spiritually. After hours of uttering prayers and dancing, now Maklumek needs some rest. It was a brief break though. Then the ritual continues for some more hours and finish sometime after midnight.
Saya mulai tahun 75 75 76 tuh. Saya sejak saya kawin dengan saudara ini perempuan ini kan. Tujuannya sudah pandai belian. Ya. Dengan orang tua itu, mertua itu. Seperti guru kan guru saya. Orang tua buta macam ni. Orang tua itu. Jadi jadi jadi. Pergi lagi orang tua yang saya diunut. Nanti kesitu. Pergi ke contoh yang baru. Untuk sampai ke titik kamu potong kerbau kamu. Belum manggil yang di atas. Kalau sudah begini, kayak ini kan, ini yang putih ini, ini sudah begini. Baru kasih turun yang di atas. Ini ya, dua dewa itu. Kayak kita ini kan, memang gitu lah. Sudah semuanya itu turun sampai ke bawah ini. Kayak jalan ada jalannya. Jadi sampai ke bawah ini baru kita merawat yang sakit. How about the old man that you healed several days ago? Cek. Orang tua. Agak dapat juga kejernan ini. Dr. Dayak ada ada ha puswa majala ada de tahu jawa oi ame jawa jawa ya pak ha beto nga ho ba unda tahu wong so wong so ya tahu ha ini de semajo ati ini kan adik saya kan dia ya nak orang lain ya satu pula apa tahu gitu kan ni ya kita kita suku Jawa. This Dayak Doctor must have an excellent memory to be able to recall all the incantations he has to chant all night. But nobody is perfect. Kalau umur saya itu tidak ingat pun kan saya. Saya lahir itu seterai. Jangan nanya seterai. Bukan waktu ni pon tu. Seterai saya lahir. Uang potok yang dipotong uang ya yang dipotong bukan ini saya tak nak nyangka kita bikin ini gambar Tanggal 7 bulan 8 tahun 1960. But once again, it may not be accurate.
Not night in Kampung Intulingau. Maklumnya is there to perform a brilliant ritual to heal a woman named Ramna. This time it's a complete ritual. It goes for three consecutive nights and this is the final night. In this closing night, chicken and pig were slaughtered on the doorstep of the house. And now the sacrificed animals were set on the floor as offering for the spirits, along with many other paraphernalia. As the best parts of the animals who found the gods, the liver of the sacrificed pig serves a special purpose in this ritual. It is used by the salmon as his medium to diagnose the illness of his patient. It is past midnight now. It is time for supper. The meal is ready. There are rice, cassava leaves, and of course pork. Meanwhile, outside the house, some are preparing another venue for the healer to continue the ritual into the next stage. now and the ritual is once again moved into the house it's been a long and wearing night for the healer and the drummers and now only three drummers survive it will be very helpful to have a young and fresh drummer among them speak of the angel here comes a two and a half year angel whose name is Ina. She has just jumped from her bed onto her father's lap and joined the men who still have to beat the drums until the break of dawn.